Okay, so how do you transfer assets into your trust, specifically a bank account, right? So remember, when you set up your trust, when you set up your revocable trust, your living trust, your family trust, whatever you call it, you actually have to put assets into it, right? Because the trust is just a legal document. But until assets are actually transferred into it, all you have is a piece of paper that really doesn't do anything. And so this is what we would call uh, funding or funding the trust. That's a very important step that a lot of people forget. Um, either they don't know how to do it, they just forget to do it, the attorney doesn't help them with it, whatever the case may be. So you actually have to fund the trust to transfer assets into it. Bank accounts uh, are relatively simple to do, right? So if you've got a checking account, a savings account, uh, or even a money market account, something like that at a, at a bank, you're probably, depending on your plan and what your attorney advises, you're probably gonna transfer those assets into the trust. You're either going to list the trust as the owner, so your name, you know, if you own the name in your name, John Smith, now you're gonna transfer it so that the John Smith Trust owns the property. Or you might just list the trust as the beneficiary, meaning sort of like payable on death, transferable on death, the trust is the beneficiary. And so to do that, relatively simple, you're, you're not gonna have to, you shouldn't have to take the full 200 page trust to the bank and have them look at it. What you wanna make sure that you have or that your attorney's drafted for you is what's called a certificate of trust. It might be called an affidavit of trust, but more commonly it's gonna be the certificate of trust. And that's just a shorthand document, right? It's just a you know two to three pages kind of summary of the trust itself. It's gonna say, what's the legal name of the trust? who the trustors are, who the trustees are, might say who the beneficiaries are, uh, and just kind of the highlights of each section of the trust. And so what you'll do is you'll take that certificate of trust with you uh, to the bank, let them know, hey, we wanna change the account owner, again, from your name individually to the trust, or you just wanna add them as beneficiaries. Bank's gonna have you fill out a couple forms. They're gonna look at the certificate of trust. Very easy process, and that's, at least for the bank accounts, very simple and must do thing if you've got a trust to make sure uh, that your trust actually works.